speak in there. That's some comedy gold. <laughs> Slide number one. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to apologise to Uncle Phil. I've been meeting him in the running for quite some time now to be the best man. He is a funnier man. If you like uh, recycled jokes and lashes, Christmas crackers, that's who you go to. That's, that's the guy. Sorry, Phil, I couldn't resist. They're good. Hit and miss, though. Hit and miss. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say again, though, like how beautiful the bridesmaids. So I can't see you. There's one, and there's one. yeah, they're, they're floating around somewhere. They're, they, all, they all look great, especially the single ones. They are great. Yeah. But none of them, none of them are as beautiful as what Joe does. And I know she doesn't always believe me, and I've got a sarcastic tone all the time. But I really do. You're absolutely amazing today. And, yeah, you're brilliant. Yeah. Now, this, now this one. Retin of a man. But I've known Dan since since we were three years old. Twenty-two years we've known each other. And I can't get rid of him. Hanging me around. And we've never fallen out. Until now. You know, but he was he was an odd child. He was a he's a very straight. I think that's what I think that's what really got me into him. Really got me going. Very odd. In fact, it was. Uh, I remember there's one thing he used to always do. You know, he used to be around Saturday mornings. He used to get his pajama bottoms. He used to wrench them <laughs> over his shoulders. And he used to pop round like an Irish leprechaun singing, "Where are the golden jewels?" <laughs> I don't know why he did it. I don't know why. He did. That's what he did. Yeah, that's what he did. Because he cared. Another time when we were in school, I hadn't seen Dan before we got to school that day. We are all nestled in the classroom. Dan comes in, he's got a bulging black eye. <laughs> the black eye was a beast. And everyone's like, he was the hit of the class. Everyone's like, oh, Dan gets into fights. He's some sort of hard man. Oh, Dan, all day, all day. Everyone's bigging him up. Like, it's oh, all the time. Turns out, what he really did was, he got a bit excited one day, jumping up and down on his bed. <laughs> Leave himself in the air. <laughs> that was the legend. That was the legend. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was an absolute oddity. <laughs> he was an oddity. And I've got proof! <laughs> this is the envelope. <laughs> I've had this envelope I brought around two days ago, and it's been sat on the side, and I said, it's the prop. <laughs> Where's your boss? Where's Jack? <laughs> this is who you employed. This is him. This was Dan's normal state as a child. <laughs> this is what he did. This is who he was. <laughs> He's worn this face a few times. I've had this picture hanging around for quite a while. Until today. I'll put it at the bar. You know, everyone see it. Can everyone see it. This is him. Cheers, mate. There you go. I don't know what that is. It'll be passed around. You can all see it. You can all see it. <laughs> So we had the stag, didn't we? We did. We had the stag, I know you're all thinking. Are you go to Amsterdam? No. <laughs> Big club night out? No. The must have been a stripper? No. Went to a little cottage in South Wales. <laughs> we don't know where. No one around. Six of us. Seven on the final night when Rob caught up. It was a little bit delayed. He got there eventually. He was welcome. And uh, so we, uh, you know, we're there. No one around. Just climbing about. Day one, <laughs> we look at this mountain and we say to ourselves, we're going to climb that bad boy. <laughs> we're hopping over wags, we're jumping bushes, going in reeds, climbing trees, two and a half hours straight to the top. We get out there, beautiful. We all have a nice drink, all the way down, another two and a half hours. We get all the way down, Freddy. <laughs> he turns to us and goes, boys. I've lost my car keys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking around. We're moving leaves. We're going around. We can't Jesus. find them. We can't find them. Next day he goes out. Where are they? The peak of the mountain. <laughs> On the very Six top. Six in the morning. I'll climb that Six mountain. Six in the morning. Fair play, Fred. Found those keys. That's day one. <laughs> day two. 
canal boat. <laughs> We've all got the captain's hats on. We're loving it, having a merry time. We had a great day. On the way back, we were a little bit pressed for time. So we thought we'd stop over, have a nice drink. Need to get back. Dan's got the key in hand. <laughs> we say, Dan, fire up then, son. Let's get moving. He goes in. Turns around, turns around to us. He's got half the key in his hand. <laughs> In the lock. We're like, what the hell are we going to do now? Like, somehow, we get the little nub in the turn. We get a fire up, we say, what's all the crying about? Full of head full, let's get the hell out. That's day two. Day three, we ended it all up with a nice bit of paintballing. Good bit of family fun. Shooting each other. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, it was a good day. I remember there was one game and I saw Dan was shot out and you've ever been paintball and you've got to put your hand in the air. And Dan was walking out and I saw him. I was on the opposite team. I got to go and nail that first time. <laughs> shot, shot him in, shot in the hand. <laughs> he was out. Shot in the hand. Last game, last game of the day, it was all the rest of the stag crew against me and Dan. And we got absolutely annihilated. <laughs> we were getting <laughs> shot to pieces. My gun was jammed. I was shooting air. <laughs> yeah. Dan, Dan shot someone, though. Our friend Harry's not here, but I've gone holiday and come to the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Dan shot him so much, he almost cried. So he's never seen a man whimper so much. Dan, this kind man is married. He was on the floor almost crying. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But well, one thing did surprise me about the stag. Dan wasn't sick. <laughs> so all of you that have had a night out with Dan know that he's a man that likes to be ill once in a while. I've seen him crawl along his bedroom floor, open his sock drawer, feed him into the toilet, and him oh. oh. I've seen him lean out of a window. <laughs> he goes straight down the side of a house. <laughs> but my favourite story of all, drunken story, that doesn't actually involve sick. <laughs> we had a heavy night out. We probably polished a few bottles of whiskey off. This is when you're living back home. Yeah. Your mum gets up in the morning to do a little bit of spot of cleaning. She gets the hoover. <laughs> <laughs> Dan! Dan! Why's the hoover wet? In the night, Dan needed to go to the bathroom. For some reason, he went past the bathroom, went downstairs, opened the cupboard and pissed inside the hoover. Why he did it? In the hoover. There was a small dice in the way to get the hose up. Disgusting. It's the best drug you ever come across. <laughs> they give you some stories. There's so many more. There's so many more. The engagement rings. So no one am I honoured to be Dan's best man. Not that you actually asked me, but you know, it, was given, it was a given. I just rocked up one day and put the suits on. That was it. But I actually went with Dan to Dan to pick the rings. I went up to London, there we were, mincing around London, wore the cash on us in our scruffy outfits, getting all these uh, posh uh, jewellery shops. The women looking up and down us like we were scum. It was like a scene out of Pretty Woman. All we needed was the theme tune in the background. It was brilliant. But none of them, they're all just like they were having a pop it down because you didn't know the difference between, uh, what was it, silver and platinum. <laughs> didn't know the difference. Kept saying silver and they're like, no, it's platinum. So I'm down, just like, oh. I meant the colour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the colour. But then we found Pat. They helped Pat. Then yeah. we found Pat. She was the roughest old bird you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick sort of going over here. Hair! <laughs> Bellowing out. She had these heels on. She could barely walk. <laughs> Rough as she liked. That's what we needed. Yeah. <laughs> she was brilliant. Someone real. <laughs> Someone real. <laughs> exactly. She got the job done. We went in. Water on the table. We said, this is what we've got. <laughs> this is what we need. <laughs> Present. She presented. We were like, that's the ring, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> that will do. We're only doing this one day. We got it done in one day. And the ring, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> we, got, we got it sorted. All, all under control. But that is, that's a day I'll never forget. That was, uh, if anyone was filming it, 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 would, it would be absolutely brilliant. But, of course, there is someone missing today. And that's Karen and Tanner. And I know that uh, it was hard for everyone, and out of that, 
the two of you found comfort within each other, and that quickly fell to the two of you falling in love. And I know that if someone was uh, able to tell Hannah that the two of you were getting married, she'd say, really? <laughs> <laughs> She hasn't seen the man that Dan has become. <laughs> and that is all down to this beautiful girl, just here. Aww. But, yeah, she's with us. Yeah. 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 I'd just like to raise a quick close to Hannah. Hey. To Hannah. Hey. Hannah. Hey. Cool. My drink. <laughs> now, instead of a uh, traditional toast, I'd actually like to do it with a quote. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> it's from one of your favourite films, Titanic. <laughs> I like to everyone say, I hope you enjoy your time together. <laughs> everyone, I hope you enjoy your time together. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 <laughs>